Because of our almost non-existent springs here in the south, it's really tricky trying to grow peas. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how you can grow peas successfully if you live in the south. Hey everybody, it's Emily. And when I'm talking about growing peas in the south, I'm not talking about the tropical parts like southern Florida. I have no idea if growing cool weather crops even works in such a climate. Uh, you know, southern California, I don't know. I'm talking about the milder parts of the south where we actually have some cold weather during the winter and it, we, you know, it actually is cool um, for part of the spring anyway. But the reason it's so tricky, and I'm, I just have a glare, for, even though it's cloudy, I have a glare, that's why my hand's up here. Even though we do have a winter, um, and we do have some spring, it tends to warm up really quickly. Once the cold weather ends, it warms up really fast, and peas do not like temperature, consistent temperatures, above probably 80 degrees. At that point, you start to, they start to, um, try to produce seeds really quickly so you'll, you know, the, the pea pods start to get deformed because the peas will grow fat really fast before the pea pods get very long. Um, you may get aphids on the plants. They start, even if you're watering them well, they'll, you know, they just start to look bad. So it's really tricky to do a good job growing peas in the south. And I'm going to explain to you how to do it successfully and the mistake I already know I made and why. At first I'm going to turn the camera right on the peas I have here because I was, my hand was, my arm was getting really tired holding the camera to my face. But here's the deal. Um, first of all you need to know your growing zone. Our growing zone in southeast Oklahoma up in the mountains is 7A. 7A is a little cooler than 7B which is a little cooler than 8, the growing zone 8A, which is cooler than 8B, and so on. <laughs> All right, so um, for us, um, peas are pretty much done by middle of May, June, depending. This year, it'll, because we were having so much rain and clouds, they're gonna do, they're gonna be able to go a little bit longer than usual. But in the ideal world, in our growing zone, I should I should already have I should already be harvesting peas as I do this video it is the first week it's May 3rd and um, yeah I should have I should have started them probably a month earlier than I did and I'm going to explain how how you do that in a moment but you want to time it so that they're getting ready to, you know you've got pea pods to harvest before May, pretty much anywhere in the south, because once May hits, the weather starts getting too warm for peas. Here's what I learned. I learned this from another gardening channel last year, which I'd never read before in any book about gardening, that you can start peas from seed in pots, in little pots. And every single, and I've read lots of gardening books. I read a lot of gardening books when I was getting ready to start my gardening journey. And they all said, plant, you plant peas, you sow peas directly in the ground. You don't start them inside. Well, if when you do that in the south, you end up with the problem, and by the time they're starting to develop pods, it's too hot. And you don't end up with very many good pea pods. And by the way, these are sugar snap peas. Um, if you're going to grow another kind of pea where you actually want them to get the fat seeds inside, you probably have to start them even a little earlier. So the trick with peas is that while they are somewhat frost hardy, they're not very frost hardy. I mean, they'll take a light frost maybe down somewhere in the upper 20s, but mm, I don't. I mean, in my experience, they haven't tolerated much colder than that. And um, there is, is that a cardinal? Yes, I have a cardinal singing over in a tree. I see his redness. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so you've got winter weather, and then you have a couple weeks that is perfect, perfect for spring here in the south, and then boom, it gets hot. The temperature shoots up. And um, yeah, so the trick is 
you've got to start them inside. So what I should have done and what I will do starting next year, the reason I didn't do it this year is because of the all the clouds and rain it just oh it just beat me down this this winter and by fe look I've got a look I have a pod ha <laughs> ha um by February when I should have started the seeds I didn't feel like growing anything I was as unenthusiastic about gardening as I could ever be okay I just didn't feel like it but what you need to do is you need to start seeds indoors about a month before you're going to plant them out, about four weeks ahead of time. So I'm going to start next year, mid-February, start them in pots. And you need to start them in tall pots, okay, tall skinny pots because the roots will grow long in that month period. You don't want them to get too pot bound and have experience serious transplant shock when you plant them out. So start them a month before you're going to plant them out and then Mid-March, there are, we're still having freezes here in mid-March. Here's another pea growing, but it's, um, they're usually not super cold freezes. You know, maybe, maybe it'll get as cold as the mid-20s. I see another pea over there. But, um, generally when it freezes, it's, you know, they're not hard freezes here. So get them, if I get them these out in mid-March, then by mid-April, I'm going to be able to start harvesting. So that is the trick. If you're going to grow peas in the south, sugar snap peas at least, start them a month before you're going to plant them out. Um, the other kind of peas that take a little, you know, you just have to look at the seed packet and see how long to maturity and figure, you know, work your way backwards. But start them from seeds in really tall pots and get them planted out about a month two weeks to a month before the last average frost in the spring and that way you'll get some production before the weather turns too hot for peas so there you go that's my southern gardening tip for today yes the mistake i made and which i'm determined not to make again and um, how to successfully grow peas in the south and like i said i think it's going to be cool enough for a couple more weeks so i'll be able to get a decent crop anyway so if that was helpful please thumbs up and share this video thanks a lot for watching i'll see you for the next one in the meantime take care and happy gardening.